Welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Janet M. Taylor, president of Totally Organized LLC. Welcome to the show, Janet. Thank you so much, Fran. I am so excited about being here today. It is very exciting. And, you know, your name literally says it all, Totally Organized. Um, you have been in business a number of years. Nice. You've done workshops. You've worked with folks. You have a blog. You have your radio show. So I love that with all the things going on, you can find time in your schedule because you're totally organized and that's to be here. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you again yeah. for being here. Yeah. How do you how do you manage being totally organized? I mean, you have the company, so like you've got to live up to that yourself every single day. Is that a lot of pressure? Um, not really, because it comes with a lot of planning, mm. um, using the right tools, okay. um, and also just knowing when to change. Like you know, for many years, I've been using technology. I've been using the calendar online, the calendar in my phone. But recently, I just felt like things weren't running as smoothly as I thought. So I actually went back to the old paper calendar. You're kidding. And I love paper. it. And I love it because okay. at a glance, I can actually see my day, my week, my month, and mm -hmm. schedule things accordingly because I want to make sure that in all that I do for other people, but I'm also giving back to myself as well. So I mm -hmm. found that that really helps because now I can say, okay, I've got a little time here. I can do this or no. Realistically, looking at my week, I am doing a lot for other people. I need to block this time out. So that's what helps me. Oh, now that's an interesting concept. Um, and I've heard it with other guests, but now I'm going to put it in the context of being organized. So you're really introducing self-care as a way of helping you being organized and serving others. Okay. And it is. It's true. It is self-care. Mm -hmm. It's self-care in our homes mm -hmm. so that when we come home, mm -hmm. we can relax and we're not feeling stressed because we've got a pile here, we can't find this, we're mm -hmm. wasting money because we know we bought something, but because <laughs> of time, we just it's better for us to just go out and buy it. But mm -hmm. also in the office, having more control over your projects, mm -hmm. over your income, over your expenses, and just being relaxed and in control at work, but also in your time, not feeling like you are just doing so much for other people and giving so much to other people that you're drained mm. and you're burnt out and then you can't really give anything to yourself or to those who you love and care for. Wow. You know, you have just shared a lot. How do you or how did you get to the point that you knew that, you know, being a professional organizer establishing in a, a business like this was what you really wanted to do and, and part of your purpose in life. Well, it happened years ago when I worked for a company I really loved. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, they were going through the downsizing. Mm -hmm. So, um, and at that time, I was, because I loved the job and I just gotten a promotion, I was gonna move out. So wow. I had started buying things and getting really excited, but then with the downsizing, of course, that kind of just put a hold on that. And during that time, I saw an article about a woman who was organized, who was going into corporate America, teaching other people how to be organized in their workspace. And the light bulb started going off. It's like, that's what everybody says about you, Janet. So I just started doing research, found out about a local chapter of organizers, the national chapter of organizers. That's right. And then during the transition, I started just part time, still living at home. My mother turned an extra bedroom, I love her so much, into my home office. Oh. And wow. so, and I just started. And then about a year after that, I went into it full time. Mm. Wow, smooth transition. Yeah. And then people yeah. just started telling me things. Oh, yeah, Janet, your toys were organized. And then my mother would say, Oh, yeah, when I would drop you off at the babysitter and pick you up, they would say you wouldn't eat another bite until we wiped it. they wiped my mouth off. So it was like getting all of those little signals. Ah. It was like, okay. All this right. is you. You this is are you. totally yeah, organized. This is me. Yes. This mm -hmm. brand is yes. real. It's yes. authentic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So you started your business, you started getting customers. How did you decide who to choose? I mean, I'm sure there's some potential customers that were really, really messy. Did you go, okay, I cannot deal with you, or mm -hmm. did you just work with everybody? 
Um, in the beginning, I tried to work with a lot of people because just I was just trying to figure out what fit and what didn't fit. Mm -hmm. But then as the years progressed, I realized that people who are sometimes labeled hoarders, mm -hmm. they would be better off using the services of a professional organizer that specialized in that and also who could work through other things that they may be going through, other issues they may be dealing with. Mm -hmm. Most of my clients are people who want to really get organized, who know how to do it, but a lot of times they just don't have the time, and sometimes mm -hmm. they're just a little overwhelmed at the amount that they need to organize, whether it's in their home or their office, or okay. even sometimes just their time. So those are the people I usually work mm -hmm. with now. Okay. So give us an example of someone that you've worked with where you know, they were like, oh, Janet, this is terrific. I mean, I have my life back. You know, mm -hmm. One of those real success stories. Well, uh, one woman, um, she shared with me recently how it's like when she says, after I leave her office, it's like she can breathe again. Mm -hmm. She knows what has to be done. She feels more in control of her work. She doesn't feel scattered because she sees all those piles. It's like, Janet, I know where everything is. And then another woman in her home, she says, Janet, I actually had Thanksgiving dinner. It really helped relationship-wise with my family because hmm. for so many years, she didn't want people to come over because oh. she was ashamed. But once she started working through everything and felt more comfortable inviting people into her space, then that helped her build her relationship with her family again. So wow. she was able to have Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Hmm. And it impacted so many areas. I mean, it impacted her business. It impacted her health hmm. as well. So it was just like all across the board. It really just impacted her life overall on just getting organized. Mm. Wow. So I don't know if people really recognize all of those sort of emotional and physical connections to themselves in addition to the stuff. Um, and I'm looking at the table there and I see that you brought something. What is that and why did you bring that on the show with you today? Well, this is a little trash can. And the trash can always represents, because I tell people to make the trash can your best friend. Okay. So in your home, you get the junk mail. Put it in a trash can. Don't allow it to accumulate on the surface because you know you don't really want it. It's junk. Okay. okay. You and mean there couldn't be something possibly helpful in the junk mail? Um, you know, we know. We know what <laughs> junk mail is. It's maybe a, a, a credit card application. We know we're not going to do that anymore. It may be from mm -hmm. a store we don't even shop at. Um, so those are a the catalog types of, a we're catalog not we're not going to order from. Yeah, okay. a catalog okay. we're not going to order from. <laughs> and even in the office, you know, you may come across things. Yes, it's good information, but does it pertain to your business or your profession? Maybe somebody else, but do you particular? Do you really need it? Just get rid of it. And okay. even with our computers, you know. I can feel my heart beating. Like, <laughs> but, but, but I could use it. I know. And then even in our computers, we, we save so much. We, you know, even in our phones, we mm -hmm. take all the photos, the videos, and we use them. We upload them. So do they really need to stay there? So that's mm. why I say make the trash can your best friend because statistic is 80% of the stuff we keep, we never reference again. 80%? 80%. Wow. 80%. And they say we wear 20% um, of our clothes 80% of the time. Okay. I do have my favorite items. <laughs> yes. So we could really get rid of 80% of the clothes. Yeah, we could get rid of it. We could get rid of it. And something I did for myself oh. earlier this year was I took all of my hangers and turned them in the opposite direction. Okay. So Every time I wear an outfit, I put it in the direction that I normally have it. So at the end of the year, I can take an inventory of all the hangers that are still faced in the opposite direction and say, wow, I haven't worn you in a year. Maybe mm. it's time for me to just let you go. Wow, that is powerful. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like uh, some of the tips that you put in your blog. Yes, yes. <laughs> How often do you write your blog? I write my blog twice a month. Okay. Um, I enjoy it because I try to give it a personal perspective because sometimes mm -hmm. people see the organizing mm -hmm. as something that, you know, is, is, is foreign, but I mm -hmm. try to bring a personal touch to it. Mm -hmm. You know, I recently um, wrote an article about just taking a mind vacation. 
mm. um, where I interviewed. M I N D. Yeah, M I N D. A okay. mind vacation because sometimes we're doing so many different things that we just kind of just need to relax mm. and just take a. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you have to go to an island. Sometimes it could just be just sitting in a chair and just being still because we've got so many things going on at home, at work. We're constantly picking up our devices, etc. So sometimes the mind just needs to just like rest, just like our bodies. Mm. So, how long or short? can the mind vacation be to be effective? It can, be. some people, it could just be maybe just like five minutes. You just need like oh, okay. a five minute break. Okay. Sometimes it could be maybe a half an hour. And sometimes you just maybe need to take a few hours just to kind of mentally just kind mm. of be still. Mm -hmm. You know, especially for people who may be consultants and speakers and coaches, you're constantly giving and you're mm -hmm. constantly trying to get research and information for your clients. Right. And sometimes you just <laughs> need to just like, just right. be still. Just like sit maybe on a bench and just walk, watch the ducks or look at the water. Just mm -hmm. something just like that, just to give your mind just that little break. Mm, I like that. Mm, pretty cool. So um, <laughs> I, I am, I'm kind of thinking about that. I'm going to put that on my calendar, a mind vacation. And everyone will wonder, well, where are you going? <laughs> to my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's key because one of the mm -hmm. things I do do is I have every week yellow in my calendar. My calendar is mm. color coded. So okay. making sure that I have a moment for Janet. Mm. So that when people call and say, well, I need to see you on a certain date and time. And depending on what it is, I'll say, you know, I've already got something scheduled. Mm. So you're protecting your you time. Yes. Mm. Key. 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 Well, I know that you have, I love the trash can, I know that you have a radio show. Yes. And the radio show allows you to be international. How has that impacted your local business and your regional business by having that radio show? I think it's allowed me, of course, to reach more people, allow mm -hmm. me to help more people. Um, as um, one of the things is I have a a service where I can now, people can email me videos of their space so therefore I can see their space and I can give them strategies on how to organize that space. Mm. And then they have assignments and then they come back and then they may have another assignment. So it's allowed you to not only share your information mm -hmm. internationally, and it's, it's literally allowed you to pick up new clients. Yes, it has. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I know some of the viewers want to be able to get in touch with you. How can they get in touch with you? They can just go to my website, totallyorganized.biz. Dot biz. Dot biz. Why dot biz? Dot biz because dot com was already taken, and unfortunately okay. the person who had dot com wanted me to pay a lot of money for okay. it. So okay. So I said, you know what, let's do dot biz, and it okay. has been very successful for okay. me. Okay. Oh, I like it. I like it. So as we wrap up, what one or two tips might you share with folks who are struggling with being totally organized, and you've shared a lot of great information already. I think the specific. one thing that comes to my mind is a lot of people struggle with the time, and mm -hmm. just to have a smooth morning routine, mm. just plan the night before, because if you take 15 minutes the night before, you'll save yourself an hour the next day. So that that's you, a lot. So that could be just planning mm. what you're going to wear making sure all the information you need in your tote, your handbag, your backpack is already in there, mm -hmm. and making sure you know where your keys are so you can get out there. <laughs> Were you watching me a few days ago? I don't, I don't know where the keys go in the bag, but I get all the way to the door, and then I'm like, well, wait a minute. Fish, fish, fish. Can't find them. Wow. <laughs> okay, know where the keys are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that could be either having a, set, a special pocket in your pocketbook or mm -hmm. your purse, mm -hmm. or having a, a hook or even a dish mm -hmm. where they go every mm -hmm. single night. Wow, I love it. Janet Taylor, totally organized. Wonderful tips. Love your energy. Um, it just, and just very excited for what you're doing in the way that you're staying in business and staying fresh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Fran, for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure. Well, please continue to join us as you see significant stories, significant entrepreneurs that help you do all sorts of things, including being totally organized. And if you need more help, 
please contact Janet at totallyorganized.biz. Thank you.